Hey everyone, today I'll be talking about the belt chain command of SOLIDWORKS and how exactly you can use it to construct the conveyor belt around the rollers. So this video would be in continuation with the first one. So first of all, we'll create an assembly of both the rollers. So when the rollers, when the first roller is incorporated, it would be fixed. So you need to first float it so that it can be moved in any direction which you require. Uh, then we go to assembly option, we'll click on mates. First of all, I'll make the axis of both of these rollers visible so that I can make the axis so first I'll be clicking on the parallel mate option and then I'll have the face of both of these rollers to be coincident so that they are exactly in one plane then what I'll be doing is mating the axis of this roller with the top plane so that it's basically confined to the top plane and similarly, I'll be doing it for this one. And then what I'll be doing is uh, making a straight line on this top plane. I'll just tell you in a minute the reason behind this. Uh, so I'll make a line that is along the Z axis. Click on exit sketch. And then having the axis of this roller to be mated with the sketch. And click on OK and then I'll be having this face and this point to be coincident what does this exactly does is the fact that when you basically move this roller it would be only a one degree of freedom that is uh, that it would be only rotate about its axis and it wouldn't be able to translate in any other direction whatsoever and similarly for this roller as well Okay, so I think I didn't use the distance made right now. So what I'll do is so can make the distance between them fixed. What I'll be doing is having a distance made between the rollers as well. Suppose say I need a 150 mm distance. So using this distance made now, I'll, if I'll basically move this component, then also it will be able to just rotate. So it's also restricted to having one degree of freedom. So after using all of these uh, mates, uh, I'll go to the assembly features option and use the belt chain command. Now I'll select the two faces on which I'll be having my belt. And then I'll be clicking on the create, create the belt part. Now it would be asking, would you like to save the assembly? I'd be, say, I'd be saving and continuing. So suppose uh, you can give any arbitrary name or in, uh, whichever you want to save, save them. And then it would be also be asking for whether you want to save the belt part as well. So I'll be saving it. Click on save all. And then I'll be opening the belt one part. Now click on the right plane, click on sketch. And now what you can do is just make a rectangle around this suppose say it's uh, width is about 1 mm or whichever whichever width you require and the length is similar to the length of rollers suppose say 200 mm click on exit sketch and go to the features tab and click on swept pause space option now having this sketch the rectangle part <laughs> as my uh, profile i'd be clicking this as my path so this would be creating a belt around this click on save and then uh, go back to your assembly assemb3 and it would be it would ask whether do you want to rebuild or not click on rebuild and there you go you will have the conveyor belt around your rollers click on these two options again so that the axis of these two are hidden and hide the sketches as well so there you go that's how you create a belt around the rollers thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below